Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and it's Triple Play Day and I'm here with Misty and with Natalie and we are super excited about this week's Triple Play because it's all about the Block Star. So to start this off, uh, we wanted to show you the original quilt that we did because all of ours are so different than the original one. We wanted to see where the beginning point was. So this is the original Block Star that I did in a tutorial and the block is here right here and you cut off these triangles and we use the triangles out here in this border and I can't wait to show you all the different things that happen with these triangles particularly with mine girls will you help me take this down Absolutely. Yeah. it's such a fun quilt it's a great one and a great block so I went oh, tiny it's so I know small. you're surprised I, love cute. It. I went tiny and I finished my outside edge you know on the other one the triangles were just you know just hanging out there waiting for their other side to appear somewhere and there's no inner border of the um of the part we cut off because we did a whole bonus project with that and so i can't That's wait so to fun. show you it's how adorable. to make it all right so to make this quilt you're going to need one packet of 10 inch squares and we have used flora and fun by robert kaufman and it is really a fun fun line of fabric we use some background here. The background is three and three quarter yards. Our border is one and a half yards and it's a nice big six inch border. And this is our backing right here. And the backing is four and a quarter yards. And I also use that on my binding, but it's just ha it's happy, so happy Such red. A vibrant, vibrant line. I yeah, love it. It's really. just beautiful. My favorite is this border because it has so many little animals and it, I love how it, you know, gradates in color. It looks like watercolor. <laughs> I yeah. think so too. I just think it's beautiful. I love anyway, it. it's um, it's 67 by 67, and the quilting pattern we used on it was birds because there's so many birds in this fabric, and I just thought it would make a fun, fun quilting pattern. Very so cool. um, let me show you how to do this because it's a lot easier than you think. So this is made exactly like the big block star, mm -hmm. only it's smaller. And when you go smaller, Misty knows you know very well when you go smaller the math all has to be redone yeah. to make it work and so um so we did that but we did it with a layer cake which i think is really kind of fun so we're going to start you're going to start with some background cutting and you're going to need some two and a half inch strips some three inch strips and some three and a half inch strips so just make sure that you cut some of those so that you're ready to go when you start also, all of our, the strips that we use around our, um, to form our block, we need to cut out of here and we're gonna cut them one and a half. And so you literally get six strips out of each piece. And I have a little trick to show you what to do. So I'm just gonna pick a few of these and I'm already covered in uh, quilter's fluff. Your little <laughs> glitter. Yeah. Look, I just, wanna, I just wanna pick through here and They're show so you fun. some of these. Look at the bugs. <laughs> And then, so of cute. course, this one is the border. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this one. We'll get one of these. I'm just going to get a few of these so that we can show you, uh, well, show off the fabric, Ooh, actually. I like that. The alligators. Look at the flowers. Oh, anyway, so every square is fun to look at. Every one, it's just joyful. It's joyful, joyful fabric. So I'm going to stack these up. Okay. And we're going to cut them into one and a half inch uh, strips and just line them up really carefully and you do have a little bit of leeway at the end so if you want to you know if you have that feel that you want to straighten up this edge right here because all your peaks may not be identical you do have a little bit of leeway to do that so i'm just going to straighten my edge up right here and then we're going to cut one and a half and so i'm just going to lay my ruler on the edge and I'm going to cut these and scoot them over. You should get six. I know you can't believe that I'm cutting through alligator bodies. I Actually, know. you know what? If I'd been thinking about this, I should have turned it the other way because I could have got full alligators in yes, here. But maybe. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it. And we're going to sew it and cut it again. So it may not even matter. It's okay. 
All right, so what we're going to do with this is we are going to, see here's your little extra. So that's your leeway, you know, if you plenty, if you have a cutting error or something like that. Yeah, that's great. So to make this work for me, what I did, because I'm a make-do girl, is I took all of these strips right here, all of these, and I just sewed them together end-to-end to, end to make one really long strip. Okay. So that I could make many, many of these. Now, you can chain piece... Um, as you're sewing the blocks down, you can chain piece these, but if you, uh, you know, if you want to do just a few at a time, which is what I'm going to do for you to show you how to make the block, then we won't do the whole long thing. So it's built like a log cabin. You start with a two and a half inch square, so you're going to take your two and a half inch strip and subcut it into two and a half inch squares. You can actually also buy this as a pre-cut, you know, you can get yes. the two and a half inch squares as a pre-cut. Yep, but then you just want to make sure your background fabric matches the pre-cut that you bought. Right. <laughs> now I'm going to get a contrasting piece. Oh, I'm going to... Oh gosh, what should I pick? This blue or the pink? <laughs> the pink. The pink. All right, so then if you'll sew these together. Of course. And there's these. Do you need them pressed? And I don't know if you noticed I press. how Misty <laughs> did that, but she just literally kept them all in there under and just took the end and sewed another piece down. So let's watch here. So see how she does that? Then she brings the top piece over and adds another piece to it. Just to keep it right sides together. Yeah, and you just sew along. Now she'll pull the other piece over. And then it just makes one long strip and you're not sewing two, 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 four, four, four. You're sewing a whole long strip. Mm -hmm. Almost there. And the last one. There we go. Alrighty. Here, let me just grab these and we'll just trim these apart. There you go, Miss Nat. All right. All right. Now, what I want you to do, what what I would do if I were making a big quilt of these, which, dare I say this on television? On television. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. I mean, dare I say this on YouTube, but I think, I like this quilt actually so much, I'm considering making one for my bed. Well, it's beautiful. Wow. Which is king size. It's so beautiful. That would be and this great. is 67 by 67, so probably I'd have to make three of them. Yeah, pretty close. Yep. Pretty close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, if anyone can do it, you can. Uh, yeah, I believe in you. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to add a two and a half inch square on here and sew just down the side. Now, if you wanted to do several of these, you could actually add squares and add squares and chain piece them. I'm just going to have Misty do a couple so that I can show you how we put the block together. Because right. you don't want to stay here as long as it's going to take me to make that king size quilt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Maybe think we do. Might. Maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> Just take a little more a little time than closer. you think. Yeah, you don't have to have any room in between. You can just slide them right next to each other. There we go. And honestly, mm -hmm. if you're making one block at a time, you don't even have to sew your strips together. You can actually just, uh, you can actually just do one little block at a time. If you want to iron those, I love that I you sure sew them do. together because it reminds me of the old quilts where they would they you, you find had those the seams. those seams all the mm -hmm. time. Yeah, yeah, that has never bothered me. That's no. never been a thing for me. People will say, "Oh, I don't have enough fabric to finish this." I'm like, "Put a seam in." Sew it. some yeah. pieces together. Absolutely. You know? All right. So this one then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew down this side like this, and you can add that piece on. Now, when I get close to this seam right here, here's this. If one. you want it take it off and not sew the seam in it, you can. You can skip there it. There is plenty of fabric to do it. This is just how I did it. You know, there's lots of ways to do things. As a nod to those old quilts, I'm just going to keep it in. All I right, think. there you go. You know, why not? There you go. We'll just slide that under there. This is twisting on me. I want that to lay flat. All right, I'm going to... I guess I'm just going to wait here. Yep. I was thinking there I was cutting a string, but I'm cutting a whole strip here. Yep. Let me use these. All right, if you can press that, that would be great. Okay. And I'm going to here we go. open this one. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our other color, 
and we're going to come around this side. So it doesn't matter, but the way I remember it is whatever side I end on, which is the one that goes all the way across the block, that's the side I start on. Okay. So if you want to do that. And then if you just want to pass that to me, yep. I will trim it and you can do the same thing on the next block. Okay. Right. And then we're going to add one more strip on there. All right. Now I'm pretty sure in the pattern it gives you the exact measurements to cut everything. Perfect. But, um, you know, you can it's do it however you want. It's good to have multiple yeah, ways. It way. is. It is. All right. So you can then sew this on the other side. I'll use this end. All right. There you go. See? Cool. Teamwork mm -hmm. makes the dream work. <laughs> and here's one more and you can do it with this end. All right. We'll just keep switching ends. Swapping. See how handy that is? I'm going to slide across the seam for you on this one. There you go. Alrighty, and we've got one more here. And we are going to trim this side and uh, trim this side. Misty didn't want the seam in there, I just guess. just decided not to. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So this block looks a little wonky, but it's not going to really matter because where these two colors come together, the opposite colors, we're going to take a three inch square. Now you have a three inch strip here. You're going to subcut that into three inch squares and one's going to go on each corner just like this. And we are going to draw a line or we are going to use a, um, our diagonal seam tape. I'll draw a line on this one and we're going to do one of these on both sides. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to draw a line corner to corner. And then if you want to, you can come out a little bit and draw another line. And this piece right here is going to give you our bonus project. So if you want to do the bonus project, then you have to kind of do both of those. So I'll do that for you. All and then right. I will draw the line on another one. And it should be about a half an inch. It doesn't have to be exactly. I actually never draw the line for the outer piece. I just eyeball it and come over. And so what we're doing here, let me just show you. I'll line this one up. So again, where the colors come together, the corner goes on here. We're sewing on this line, sewing on this line, and then cutting in between. Pretty cool. All righty. Now, Misty lived dangerously. She sewed these at the same time, but I would be really careful about that because- I, I did flip it back. Did you? Because I yeah. was going to say, that point comes pretty close. Yep. <laughs> so there's that one. And so let's work off of this one now. What we're going to do is we're going to trim right in between here, just like this, and just like this. And I'm not too worried about that quarter of inch seam. And you can shorten up your stitch length a little bit if you're worried about that. Natalie, if you can press that. Yep. I would love to. And then I Those just made a so pile cool. of these to work with later. And then, uh, and then this is your block. This is what we're shooting for right here. We want two little corners just like this with our three inch squares on them. It's very cool. It's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, I love Tiny that you can star. make stars with these blocks. They're just it's super interesting to me. Yeah, it is interesting always when things come together, how it works. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and trim this one as well. If you were ambidextrous, you could just leave that right in the middle. <laughs> Slide it <laughs> over. No, you could cut on both sides. Almost, it's two yeah. and a half inches. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So once you get a pile of these done, you're ready to start putting your blocks together. And literally what we're gonna do is, uh, this is how it makes a star right here. I have some made. 
And as you put them together, it forms a little star. That is just adorable. And so basically, when you put your quilt together, you can do rows, but you're gonna put them together so the colors and the whites always come together. So this one would be turned like that. So let's take this back to the quilt and I'll show you just how it fit back there. So this is our top row right here. This, this out here is the outer border that I made so the stars finish. But this is where it goes in the quilt, just like this. And then you're just gonna turn it to, to do a row. Now, when I put them together, I put a whole star block together and put, you know, make my row out of those. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six. So six by six rows of stars. But I wanted to Very finish cool. the outer edge. I love that you did That's that. That's one of the things that actually bothered me on the block star quilt. Yeah. I'm a finisher. I like things to look complete and finished. So to do that, we had to do some math. I had to, I had to do it in the morning because, uh, you know, afternoon math is terrible. And so what we did for this one, this is, this is new to this block star. You can do it with the original as well, but this math is for the mini. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a three and a half. So remember I told you to cut a three and a half inch strip. You're mm -hmm. going to cut that into three and a half by three. So these are your squares right here. And I chose to use my border fabric in all of the outer stars. Oh, I thought that, I just noticed yeah. that. I thought that this would kind of go up into the border and kind of bring it all together. And I like how it did that. That's yeah. beautiful. And, um, and I didn't have enough of the other strips to actually make the same on both sides. So mm. I thought, well, I'll try it with the border fabric and we'll see what happens. But I really like it. And it made it easy for my brain. You know, it made that. it yeah, go. That's very cool. I'm just gonna cut some of those strips. I didn't so, notice it at first. <laughs> so here, Misty, if you'll sew a strip on both sides of those. Of now you're gonna make two of these blocks and they're gonna be opposite. So what I mean by opposite is. And you can't tur just turn them? You can't just turn them. Okay. So, see, they're, they're, there's no way to make them. Because they're rectangles? Mm-hmm. They're you just opposites. Trim that one for me. So we'll, we'll trim this. I was looking to see, oh, did I grab the wrong block? <laughs> so and there's three by three that. and a half, huh? Three by three and a half. And you're, one block, you're going to put your strip on this side and across the bottom. And on mm -hmm. the other block, you're going to put it on the opposite side and across the bottom. Does it matter which way I do this one? It doesn't, because we'll okay. just make a pile. Okay. You know, you, as I went along, I just made a pile. And when I got the stars right, because you want them to come together like this to form the star. Okay. All right, so let's see which pile this goes in. It was always a mystery to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, after a while you get, you're like, oh, okay, this goes on this side and this goes on that side. And that's how you figure it out, but. Uh, in That's the beginning, so funny. It, every, it, everyone was like, oh, okay, this one goes in this pile, <laughs> this one goes in that. All right, so this is also my mantra of how I remembered how to put these together. This is the top of my block right here is going to be the top of the star legs. And so this has a two and a half inch square that we're going to put, uh, we're going to draw a line and we're going to sew diagonally. So our two and a half inch square, it's, it has two squares just like the other one, but this one has, on this top, it has a two and a half here and it has a three out here. So we're going to let you go ahead and sew that on there and we'll okay. sew another one over here. Oh, well, here's one. And I did not cut off the other side of the two and a half. I did not. So go ahead and you do this one. You mean stitch it? Like stitch another piece. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. It's it, you know when they get to be two and a half and you cut it off, that gets it's a little so bit tiny. That's a little like bit tiny for me. A little one inch block. All right, let me draw a line here. Do you need the line? You have the diagonal. I do not need the oh, line. Oh, okay. Nope. So she has the diagonal seam tape over there, so she can do that without. So see how the beginning of this leg is forming. And then we'll do a three inch block on the other side. So the blocks always cover the fabric like this. There we go. So go ahead and trim that one. I mean, sew that one and I'm trimming. Now, no, I didn't. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this and trim this and Natalie, you can press that. Okay. There you go. 
and we will trim this one. And then this, oh, Natalie's pressing. Here mm -hmm. we go, our little Natalie. All right, so here we'll pretend this is the top of our quilt right here, like this. And we'll do one more, where's our block? Here it is. So this is, you know, as we're making our row, or maybe even our stars, maybe we should just make a star right here so you can see how this all works. Look at this fabric with the insects so on it. Cute. It's so dang cute. All right, so this is our, our, our little tiny mini quilt with two rows. What we're gonna do is wherever there's a star, we wanna put these two legs together like this. And then what it does is it finishes out that star and it gives you enough room at the top so that it looks like you've added a little border, you know. It, it gives you room in between the star and the border so it really makes it pop. And I just Beautiful. love that how that really works. really pretty. And even on the times where I put them on and there happened to be the same fabric on the star, it didn't matter. And so I love that I was able to finish that up and do it. So now let's talk about those little pieces we cut up. Oh, also, I brought this just to show because this is a scrappy one. Right. And you can do the same thing. If you have scraps and you want to do it all scrappy, you just choose two corners and put it on there and it will still make uh, the same star legs. Yeah, that's great. All right, so now we have all these little pieces that we've cut off and we're gonna square those to two inches. And I used the Clearly Perfect for that. They're so cute. And, cause you know, you can't just throw these away. No. You know, they're, they're too much. So Natalie, I'm going to trim these and let you iron a few of okay. these. Okay, I would love to. Do you want to cut the little dog ears or no? Oh yeah, we can. I just didn't know I just that forget. was a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. And especially on you a- You can always trim them off with your scissors. On a small project, it is a thing. It does help. Yeah. I just always forget. I get, uh, I get like a horse to water. I want to see what my little block oh. is going to look like. Let's see, I'll do this one, and I'll do this one, and then this right here. Now you will have a set of these, you'll have them going two different directions because we've cut them off either side of the block. So what I mean by that is right here, so you can see these are opposites, you know, so we want to make a pile of our two opposites and we're going to make pinwheels, so you need four for each one. And how you tell, they have this little small piece at the top and a bigger piece at the bottom. And so that's going to go in that pile. This is going to go in this pile. This one I'm going to turn. It's going to go in that pile. This one's going to go in this pile. You got pile. it. Yep. yep. That's right. All right. So what this means is that when we put these pinwheels together, one's going to go one direction and one's going to go the other. So we're going to start this way and we're going to put this one, I'm a little angly challenge, wait for it, there it is. And you right want there. all the little, the little tinies to point to the middle, yeah? I do want, yes, you're right, you're right. All the little tinies to point to the middle. So wait. It's okay, I can't, you can do it like this. I can't this. think it, I'm angly challenged. Like that. Oh, there we like go, that. okay. All right, and just add so my idea, two. my idea in doing this with having the smaller pieces is that it would make a double pinwheel. Right. It's really cute. And so as these come together, you'll see that tiny little pinwheel in the center. Oh, put this one up there. There we go. That so, way they're opposite. See that tiny so little cute. pinwheel? <laughs> That's adorable. And then this one will actually turn the opposite direction. You want to put your pinwheels, um, you know, because you've cut them off both sides. You have one going this way and one going this way. Mm -hmm. We looked at whether or not this was really going to matter because, you know, I wondered, is it going to show up in a quilt if I do them so that they're opposite? So here's our little pinwheels. And so we decided that it didn't really matter. So um, Cherry loves minis. She was in charge of this <laughs> mini. I told her, make something really cute with these half square triangles. And so I want to show you this darling it's so little fun. tiny. It is uh, so cute. I love it. These. And you'll see everyone, like this one goes one way, this one goes the other. This one goes one way and this one goes the other. But when you look at the quilt as a whole, it doesn't matter at all. So she sashed every single one of these and it's a one and a half inch sashing. And you need a little more yardage for that. What is it, Natalie, mm -hmm. about three quarters? I think for the background, three fourths of a yard. Okay, yeah. so three fourths of a yard for that. This is a little three inch border. You know, and so 
what do we go around another it? half yard half yard yeah. bare you won't even use a half yard for sure yeah and then we we did back it with the same darling I just love it that. is so cute like this is the best baby quilt i think you could ever give so it's just, happy it's darling. just absolutely darling and the so, size of it ends up 38 by 42. So that's a good size baby quilt it's yep. just perfect sized yeah I, I yeah. love, love, love it. That's so So great. anyway, so you get two projects out of one, uh, one block, and now we get to see what Misty did with her block star. All right. All right, so this is my quilt. I had a jelly roll to work with, and so um, it was a bit of a challenge for me, but I'm really excited about how it came together. I'm calling it Star Box. It's really cute. Because you get your one star in the middle and it kind of boxes around it. So it's really cute. Not very clever, but you know. <laughs> it's hard to name quilts. It's hard to name quilts. I like it. I Thank like you. it. And Thank we name you. a lot of them. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, to make this quilt, you're gonna need one jelly roll and I use Trade Winds by Needle Love for Andover Fabrics. And I use this great Laundry Basket Basics for the background, you'll need one yard of that, one yard for your outer border, and then three and a half yards for your backing. So let me show you how to make it. It's so cute. Thank I, you. I love this fabric too. <laughs> Thanks, it's really pretty. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. Okay. It's always fun to use something a little different yeah. for you. Like, you know, you're, you don't typically it's go not for my the, typical fabric. the more yeah. traditional fabrics, but they always turn out so beautifully. I think so too. Actually, let's grab that jelly roll because I'm gonna okay. pull a few out of there. Alrighty. So we're just gonna open it up. All right, and so I am gonna use this brown. It's so pretty. And then this kind of mottled one here. And then we'll set the rest of these aside for now. And then you're also gonna cut some strips out of your background, both two inch and two and a half. So I'm going to subcut this one into two inch squares. Have a couple stacked here. Oops. Always have to make sure I've got my ruler right. That's right. That's right. That one has that <laughs> that half inch that can throw you off. So we'll just cut a few of these. And this is going to be the center of our blocks. I started with two. And then I went ahead and I have my two and a half cut and ready to go. So I kind of separated my jelly roll into darks for the star and lights for the box. And we're going to start with the lights. So I am keeping this folded. And we are just going to go ahead and cut off our selvage. I think the, um, the separating the lights and the darks was pretty genius. It, oh, it gives it a really you. cool look. It was kind of difficult mm -hmm. to figure out how to get those stars to pop. I really wanted them to pop and I wanted to keep the four colors together. Well, so. and for me, it's like, which one is light? Exactly. Like, you know, I don't actually, sometimes you have to look through your, your phone or your yeah. camera to see mm -hmm. it. To yeah. see. All right, so then we are gonna cut a two by two and a half inch rectangle. We're actually gonna make that cut twice. And this is gonna give us enough to make our whole block. Oh, all four because all you have four it folded because still. They Perfect. Match. Yep. I love and that. And then the next cut is four. And so I'm just going to lay this on here. And same thing, we're going to do that twice. And then we will just hold on to these for now. All right, so from our dark strip now, I still have this one folded. So again, we're just going to lay this out nice and straight. And I'm going to take my ruler and just trim off that selvage edge. There we go. And our first two cuts are going to be four inches. And remember, this is folded, so we're actually getting four that are the two and a half by four inches. There we go. And then our next two cuts are six inches. So let me turn that around. One. Oh, I love a project two. that just uses almost the whole strip. Yep, so just a just little straight. bit of waste. Not so that bad could at be, all. That Not could waste. be a little two and a half inch I mean, square is, that you put in your... That's true. You could add that to a oh, quarter. Oh, is it two and a half? Mm -hmm. it, it's bigger than two and a half. Yeah, so you Perfect. could trim it down to two and a half easy. Nice. All right, so now we have all of our components to make our block. So we are going to start with that little two inch square. Okay. And we are going to add one of our two by two and a half inch rectangles Excellent. to the side there. So the first cut was two by two and a half. I actually, you know, when you were cutting that, because I'm so used to thinking two and a half, I'm like, how is that gonna fit on there? And I then know. when you turn it on the end, I'm like, there it goes, goes. there it goes. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we will add, we'll give that a press, or you can finger press either one, what you, whatever, whatever you prefer. I'll finger press for this one. All right. And then we'll add our four inch piece to the other side. Does it matter what side? 
Um, it, I just was consistent the whole time. And so for my brain, I would turn that print to the top and I'd add it to the right. Okay. Because I'm right-handed. I think that's just how it made sense to my brain. All right. Everybody has a little mantra that they use. Yeah. It's all a little different. Exactly. There we go. I'll press that. Press that. And so because I wanted the star to be the dark fabric, I started with that light every single time. And so then we just keep rotating. And so we'll add our four inch dark to this side. Okay. And then we will add our six to the other. Right. And you make four of those, right? You make four, okay. exactly. I have the other ones ready to go. So we'll just make one because it's the same thing over and over. <laughs> I love that you were able to figure out how to get all the same colors together. Thank you. It, it actually was trickier than I expected. Mm -hmm. I had to rework the math about yeah. four times. <laughs> and then I was like, oh no, the jelly roll's too short. But we got it. Got there in the end. Mm, I love nice. that. All right. And then this last piece to this side. Okay. There we go. And so I just kept spinning that block mm -hmm. all always to the left and I added to the right. Awesome. It's so cute. That was my little mantra while I was working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Perfect. So now we will just give that a press okay. and we'll grab two of our background two and a half inch squares. And we are going to add these onto the corners with our darks. And so again, you can draw a line or press a line. We're just going to sew point to point on both okay. sides. Eyeballing it. Perfect. Where the two colors well, come together. Exactly. Using the it really mostly covers the dark because of how this is um, added. But yeah, your two colors are meeting. Well, you know, I, I've been teaching this for the dome girls this yeah. year. And so I've noticed how many times I say that over and over because I notice how many times somebody will put a square and they'll be like, oh, I did this wrong. Wrong side. You know? Yeah. And, it's so uh, true. and that's, you know, that's not a problem. It just makes a whole new tutorial. Exactly. But it's, <laughs> that's exactly right. It's not, you don't get what we're looking for, for sure. Nope. Sometimes those mistakes are the best little happy accidents. They really are. <laughs> All right. And so now we'll just trim these off here and here make sure and if you want to press that okay have our other ones ready to go and then so we will just lay these out look at that like that and have these two sewn together and you'll see how it will come together. So Natalie, if That's you want so to just great. sew these. Yep. I, I love how them. this, what was once the center, right. becomes the outside edge. Exactly. I like this a lot, Misty. You Thank did a great you. job on this. This Thank is fun. Thank you so much. It's a fun block to make. I'm always amazed at what different things come out of our brains. Come out of our brains. <laughs> I know. It's crazy, isn't it? It's fun, actually. I, I think so, too. Yeah. This one's already sewn, so if you just want to nestle up those middles. Okay. It's going to be so pretty. Yeah. And I like that the light is that box on the outside because it really lets those stars mm -hmm. shine. Makes it stand out. And she's just lining up where those points come together, yep. trying to keep nesting everything the center and, seam. Yep, nesting the middle seam making sure they, yep, they're going opposite directions, and my... Awesome, hey, there we press. go. Oh. Get those threads, awesome, yep. there we go. We'll press that. Oh, oh yeah. so cute. Pretty easy. Yep, I love it. So there's our blocks. You can see how great they come together, just quick and easy. And I just set them one next to the other. And so it's four across by five down. It has a five inch outer border. It finishes up at 53 by 64. And let me show you the backing. Oh, just that's this such great little oh, pretty fabric. That's perfect. And I quilted it with variety. 
turned out I love out variety good. too. Variety yeah. is just such a great, like elegant. Yeah. It's a really beautiful kind of feathery, pattern. but mm -hmm. a little bit more traditional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like yeah. it. All right, Natalie, I think you're up next. Okay. All right, so this is my quilt behind me. So I'm calling fun. it Sunflower Stars because I think it. what I did is I made the stars look a little bit rounder, kind of like a flower. It's really so cute. I think it's, I think it's kind it's of fun. Really cute. It's really cute. And I'm excited to show you guys how I made it. Um, so to make my quilt, you'll need a package of 10 inch squares and I used Homemade by Echo Park Paper Company. Beautiful line. Uh, mm -hmm. For Riley Blake. You'll need a little bit of background fabric, two and a quarter yards. Your outer border is a yard and a quarter, and then four yards for backing. The quilt mm -hmm. is um, basically, it's kind of like a small picnic or large baby. It's 60 by 60. The backing is really cute. Do oh, I, I love yeah. the quilting pattern. That's and like... uh, the quilting pattern is little nature. Yeah. So it has little ladybugs and dragonflies and flowers. It's I just really thought it was cute. super cute. Really cute. cute. I'm oh. still chuckling about the large baby. I meant large baby <laughs> quilts, but you know, take it how you will. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> mm. All right, so let's get started. So we'll take two of our um, of our layer cake 10 inch squares and we'll put those together and I will show you how the cutting is to be done. Um, the reason that I'm doing two kind of contrasty squares is that's just how the that's how the quilt block goes together well. And so this makes cutting super easy. So first you're going to cut an eight inch by two and a half inch strip. Well, we'll cut it as 10, then we'll cut it down to eight. Get out your pencils and your notepad. <laughs> that's right. There is there is a little cutting diagram for these in your pattern. So eight by two and a half. Yep, and that's your first. This is your longest strip, so you'll mm, set can those I have aside. Those for my crumbs? No, oh, I'm, no, I'm gonna, gonna use, use that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So then we'll cut another two strips here. And these get cut down into six and four. So we're just gonna cut these now and, and set them aside. We'll use them up as we need them. So we have our eights, our sixes, our fours. We'll cut one more. This one also gets cut into six and four. So we'll stack those up there. And then from this strip, we're gonna need two, two and a half inch squares. Oops, not three. <laughs> It's always so fascinating so to me cute. how different uh, how different everybody's is how our how our Love minds it. think. Yeah. All right, and then we need two inch two two inch squares. Wow, so you can have this bit. piece for your crumbs. <laughs> well, that's even it's bigger. It's bigger. Yep. So these are our two inch squares that go, and um, end up as little snowball corners. Oh, cute. very cool. So that is the most efficient way to cut your layer cake squares to get Perfect. all the pieces that you need. Awesome. Right. Now from your background, you're gonna need four inch squares and four and a half inch squares. Okay. So I just cut those into two strip sets and we will just sub cut a few of our little, our four inches and our four and a halves. So I'm gonna just use this. I usually use a square to cut my squares, but this will work. I can use the mat just as well. So one, two, three, four. So four by four, four inch squares. Uh -huh. So four inch squares and four and a half inch squares. So this one is four and a half inches wide. And I'm just gonna cut a little, cut the selvage and the fold off of that side. And give it a toss. <laughs> toss, toss. So one, two, three, four and a half. All right, so we're just going to make one, one block because I have several made already and that way I can show you how to put them together. Okay. So we're gonna start with our four inch middle and we're gonna snowball two corners with our two inch squares. Okay. So opposite corners get snowballed. You can just lay them down. Different colors. You do your, your, your two opposite colors because we're gonna make one block with these fabrics. Oh, okay. 
I'm ready right. for you. And just right on the... Right, it, right on the line. You can draw the line, press the line. It's a two inch square. You can probably eyeball it if you've been doing this a while. If not, draw the line and that will, that'll make you more comfortable. All right, so we'll just trim these off. These are, these were a little small for me to save as well, even though I like tiny things. <laughs> they are <laughs> had to tiny. let them go. I had to let those ones go. Yeah. There we go. All right, so for these, you just choose which whichever one you want to be your starter, mm -hmm. but you're gonna take your four inch and start one side and you want it to match. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lay it out. I'm just gonna show you before we sew everything. You'll do like this, so you have your, your colors matching oh, okay. your snowball. All three colors match. Yep, and then you'll do your six and your eight on this mm. other side with your other color. Oh, okay. So we'll put it together like that. Alrighty. And we'll just keep on going. You can finger press the whole thing. Well, there we go, perfect. <laughs> And we'll finger press that back yep. and add this. So we're adding the four and the six. Yep, four and six, and then we'll do six and eight. Right. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw the line on these four and a half inch squares because they are, um, it's a larger space to stitch on and it, it just makes me feel a little more comfortable to have that. That guideline. Yeah. All right, so then we're going to finger press this. Yep, you ready for your next six? Mm -hmm. All right, and, so and that starts your here. second color, and, oh, okay. and they should should square in the middle, or, you know, meet in the middle with your snowball. All right. We were at a recent Doan Girls retreat, and I was just saying, if you want to make your block different, just snowball it. And so I went a little snowball happy on I this love it. quilt. <laughs> I, had, I had snowballs on my mind from that. I think that's fun. Snowball the inside, snowball the right? outside. What else can I snowball? Add another one. <laughs> so you'll see it's like the, the triple snowball block star. I love it. There we go. All right, go ahead right. and press right that right out and Absolutely. we'll add our, our big I'm gonna, snowballs. I'm gonna hand you these little snips so you can snip those little threads. Okay. And I did, do you want me to go ahead and draw you a, no. a secondary line? No. Are you sure? I'm just going to make, I am just okay. going to wing it. All right. I'm just going to wing it. There we so go. The I never measure that line. Next step, where these two colors come together, the opposite colors, we're going to add our four and a half inch snowballing block. That's a big snowball. And then we're going to sew a line on the other side because mm -hmm. we are going to make a bonus project. We are awesome. All right. So both sides get snowballed and, and the secondary line sewn a half inch away. Okay, so, so up to this point, the only thing I've changed from the original pattern is the two, two inch inner um, corners. Yeah. Everything else is the same, same sizes, same everything. So I sewed down the middle and I'm just gonna come up this other side. Perfect. My thread's caught on there. There That's we go. Okay, all right, so we'll go ahead and trim these off. And I will give this to you to press. And, and again, Steve. that was the four and a half on the side. Yes. Okay. Four and a half on the sides, four in the middle. All right. And if you need a mantra, it's small in the center, big squares on the outside. There you corners. go. Look at that. There's our star. All right. So this is the, the basic star. Actually, wait, what? wait, look at this Aww. little kitty. This actually looks like a little, little kitty head. <laughs> yep. Those are cute. So okay, cute. so the other thing that I did with your little two and a half inch squares, I mixed those all up and did them scrappy. So I have a, f a couple extras here, but this is where I added one more snowball just for fun. Just for fun. Just for fun. So mm -hmm. you can draw the line if you want. And this one is just straight on. So we have one extra little bit of color. I actually love Mix what that does super to a block. Too. All right, so I'm straight across. I'm and then... snowball happy. Straight across <laughs> over here. There we are. So we'll trim these off and press them back. One more. All right. That is fun. Oh, and really that's fun. it. This is the block for the quilt. I'll show you where it goes. 
So I just lined mine up just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six across by one, two, three, four, five, six down. Awesome. So they just, they just rotate just like that all the way along. And it creates this cute little diamond in between the stars that I like, you know, with that secondary that snowball happens, yeah. makes this little frame. Mm -hmm. So I think it's super, super let's, cute. We can put a few together yeah, if let's you put want. put one together. I want to see it. So you can see the star up here. In the east. Nope. Oh, that was a, <laughs> that one doesn't need to that be. That was out. a demonstrator. Uh-oh. There we go. Those are experiment blocks. Now you know. <laughs> now you know. It takes a village. Yep. So that's how that looks. Cute. That is so cute. Yeah. And, and I, then if you, you want to show them together in rows. And if you want to show this, how, it, how what happens when these come together. There you go. What a cute little diamond. Little diamond. It's so cute, yeah. Nat. I, I love, love it. That. Awesome. And what size did All you right. end up? So it ended up 60 by 60. It's just square and it's it's super cute. Really My border cute. is six inches. Inner border is two and a half. Awesome. Okay, so now we have a bonus project because we have all these cute little triangles that are left over. And they're pretty good size. Yeah. Yeah, they're great size. So I actually love the block lock. I went ahead and if you'll press these open, I'm okay. going to show how I trimmed them to keep all my little triangles the same size. Okay. All right. So these I squared down to three and a half. And I don't know if you can see very well, but what I did is I always made sure that this line where the, the two fabrics meet landed on my one and a half inch line. Oh, people so are going to love that. Up, this lines up right here with my one and a half. So your little pinwheels will be the same. So my pinwheels, this triangle will always match. That's so fun. And I didn't actually end smart. up making pinwheels though. Oh, I, You'll I actually see. But you could. On. But you could. Now yeah. when you when you flip it around and bring it back down, this line can still stay in where there's one and a half inches from mm -hmm. point to seam. But you just slide. Does your that block make sense? Block. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna work out the same either way. These are squared to three and a half inches. And you have, you have, you know, not a lot of room to do that, but it's comfortable. It's mm -hmm. not like you're shaving little tiny bits. So I like a little extra well, and trimming comfort like that space. Is so satisfying. Yeah. It just is the best. Yep. So again, you're here at one and a half on the seam line. I actually love that you can do that. Our, my blocks were so tiny. Yeah. yeah. You know, probably, I'm, I'm not sure it would have worked or not, but that is comforting to know that somewhere it's lining up and they'll all mm -hmm. be identical. Match. Because yep. on this, you can really see how the two fabrics come together. You could easily get a double pinwheel. Yes. You could, yes. And those are very cute. But not what you did. But not what I did. <laughs> so what I did is I made little diamonds. And so my, my one opposite color goes at the top, and then the second one goes here at the bottom, and I Cute. stitched them together just like that. Okay. There's your little diamond. Very cute. All right, if you'll press that. Of course. And I just put them together in a little row. So, so cute. I have a couple of these so and this one. And I love this cute little diamond. I ended up making a uh, table runner and it's five across. So one more than this is, is your row mm -hmm. by however many long I didn't count. Let's but see, one, it's two, super three, cute. Four, it's, five, what size is it? Seven. Like 19 by 47? 19 I think? by 46. 19 That's, by 46. That yeah, was pretty you close. You were so close. Pretty close. It's and you really have everything cute. in your original supply list to make this, except for backing and binding. Perfect. Very so cute. there's a little two love and a half that. inch outer border on it, and I just thought it was really fun. I thought, you know. I love well, it. And I love when we use all the parts. Exactly. Yeah. Right? No waste. Yeah. And if, you're, if you happen to decide you wanted to give a baby quilt to the mom, and then a, a table runner with her dinner that you're going to bring her. Right. Ah, you know, I mean, sweet. you're just wrapped right up. Yeah, yeah. you'd be winning very all sweet. the bonus points. That's for sure. Right. That's, that's right. right for sure. So that's it. It's that simple. And I, I hope you like it. I yeah. loved it. So we love the old block star quilt behind us, and we loved coming up with these three new ideas. We hope you enjoyed them, plus two bonus projects. And we hope you enjoyed this triple play on the block star quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, 
Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.